I'm a medicinal chemist and chemical biologist. I work in the Department of English and Drama here and I specialize in literature and science, literature and philosophy and early modern literature. The, the overall theme in my research has been to try and understand how people respond to multiple motives when making decisions. And the objective of our research is to develop new therapeutics which um, can alleviate human disease. But most of my work in trying to understand uh, multiple motivations of individuals has been about understanding altruistic behaviors. The work that I'm doing takes seriously the aesthetic quality of text, but is also trying to think about not what makes literature different from other kinds of writing, but actually what connects it to other kinds of writing. I, I think chemistry will change in the next 50 years. I think it's going to be more automated. I would hope that one of the changes that will happen is the, the further incorporation of student experience. And that's where we come into the picture as uh, educators, trying to slow things down as a way for students to really, to really sort of work out, interpret uh, the information uh, in, the best, in the best possible way. We professors all recognize that our students are distributed across many different fields and also across many different needs. The ability to work in team, uh, resilience, patience, uh, and so on and so forth. And these things can only be taught in a physical I think there'll be more robotics um, used to speed up the process, but I still think the student is going to have to be in the lab and working away at the bench. I don't think that's going to change. One of my fav favorite things about UTM um, that I always brag about to my colleagues who work at other institutions is the strength of the research opportunity program and the size of the research opportunity program. It's a chance for students who want to see what it is you're doing and, and get involved with it somehow.